Hello, I'm Mary Ann Russo from the Hubbard Public Library. Also joining me in today's video will be Amanda Bala and Dana Tirabassi. The practice of mindfulness equips children with tools to build self-esteem, manage stress, and skillfully approach challenges. Mindfulness through snail tales will model a calming story, a simple breathing technique, focused art activity, and a meditation walk. These activities can be incorporated into your summer reading program, or you can use them any other time throughout the year. Slow Snail Adapted from the book by Mary Murphy. Snail slides slowly down her flower. Slowly over a stone. Slowly across a boot. Slowly over a stick. Slowly up a bottle. Slowly along a brick. Just in time for Dinner. Hi, I'm Amanda Valla at the Hubbard Public Library, and I'm going to show you a simple breathing technique that we call finger breathing. For this technique, all you need are your hands, and you hold one hand out in front of you, and you're going to use the index finger on the other hand. We're going to pretend that the index finger on our other hand is like the snail that we just saw in the slow snail story. And you're going to move your index finger up and down each finger just like Snail did as it went up and over each object that it encountered in the story. We're going to breathe in as Snail moves up each finger, briefly pause at the top, and then breathe out as Snail goes down each object. We want our breath to be slow and steady like how Snail moves in the story. Let's try it together. You can picture the Snail crawling up and over each object that it saw in the story as you breathe in and out. The first thing that happens in the story is snail comes down the flower and it comes to a, a stone. So we're going to breathe in slowly as snail goes up the stone and then slowly breathe out as snail goes down the stone. Breathe in as snail goes up the boot. Slowly breathe out as snail goes down the boot. Slowly breathe in as snail goes up the stick. Slowly breathe out as snail goes down the stick. Slowly breathe in as snail goes up the bottle. Slowly breathe out as snail goes down the bottle. Slowly breathe in as snail goes up the brick and slowly breathe out as snail goes down the brick. You can pretend that each finger is any object you want it to. I just tied it to the snail story that we heard. It's also fun to do this with a grown-up. And you can do this to your grown-up's hand as they breathe in and you breathe with them. Or you can ask your grown-up to use their index finger and go up and down each finger as you breathe together. You can use this technique or exercise any time that you need a little break or just want to slow down and relax. Hi, it's Dana Tarabassi with the Hubbard Public Library. And today I'd like to share with you a calming, focused art activity. Not every kid will love yoga or meditation, and that's okay. We just want them to find a mindfulness activity that helps them connect to the moment 
through whatever practice feels most comfortable. Art activities can be that practice. For this activity, you will need a plain white piece of paper or cardstock, pencil, markers, colored pencils, crayons, whatever you have. To begin, on your plain piece of paper, place one hand on the paper and press your hand into the surface. Notice where you feel pressure and how the paper feels under your hand. Slowly open and close your fingers and feel them glide over the paper. Next, trace your hand with a pencil. Notice how the pencil feels along your fingers. Come up and down between your fingers. Maybe it even tickles. Leave your hand on the paper. Feel how your hand is still connected to the paper and the surface under the paper. Now, use your crayons, markers, or colored pencils to color in the outline of your hand. While using them, notice how they each feel different on the paper. Are they smooth? Does it feel rough? Does it glide gently over the paper? How do they smell? If you don't have scented markers or crayons, they'll have a set out. How do the colors make you feel? Do the colors make you feel calm? Do the colors make you feel happy? We want you to use all of your senses to connect to the moment. Hi, it's Mrs. Russo here in the meeting space at the Hubbard Public Library. As you can see, we've made a large spiral design onto the floor. We just used some tape. You could do this at home with yarn or tape or maybe you could go outside and draw a spiral on your driveway using chalk. We're going to use our spiral as a relaxation tool today. The spiral is a kind of a labyrinth. Labyrinths have been used for over 4,000 years as a relaxation and meditation tool. As I slowly and thoughtfully walk a following the pattern, I'll breathe in and out and I'll feel calm and I'll think relaxing thoughts. And when I get to the center, I'll share some special words that help me feel grounded. I'm gonna take a deep breath in and out and I'm going to begin my journey. As I walk, I'll feel the ground secure under my feet.
I feel safe. I feel sound. I feel my feet on the ground. I feel very calm and relaxed now that I've reached the center point. When I've had a moment to relax, I'll start my journey back and follow the winding path all the way around each turn until I'm back at my starting point where my journey will end. I hope you'll try this technique at home. See you soon.